Hi, how's everybody doing today? My name is Steven Rosenberg. This is Gene Ginsberg, and welcome to another exciting episode of Marketing Success in Under 10 Minutes. Gene, how are you doing today? What's up? How's it going? Good to see going. you, as always. Always good to be on the show talking about marketing, talking about entrepreneurship, my favorite topics. I'm sure yours as yes. well. Yes, 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 it is. What's Every the topic day. today? Uh, so today's topic is I want to talk about some things that I've noticed happening online that are different than the way uh, other people are marketing themselves. So specifically A-list celebrities and how they, some of them are getting really smart and changing their tune to not just do big, huge, multi-million dollar movie premieres, but having a relationship or a documentation process of their day-to-day -day life. And I think that is something that is very, very significant, um, especially in today's world. And for example, we'll use Will Smith. Uh, have you seen his um, new YouTube vlog? I have not seen it, but I've seen him on Instagram, even though I actually don't follow him on Instagram, but people repost a lot of his stuff on Instagram and like I see a bunch of his quotes. So I, I have seen him there, but it sounds like he also has a vlog. Yeah. Vlog? Okay. Yeah, which I think is so smart for someone like him to do. And the way that he did it, uh, you know, he started it from scratch and he was really honest about starting it from scratch and doing it that way. Um, and it really gets uh, an opportunity for someone, we'll just say a Will Smith fan, you know, I, I love Will Smith and all that stuff. I'm not like a crazy Will Smith fan, but like, I like Will Smith a lot. And then having the ability to see him on an actual human level in these vlogs makes you feel like you're even more connected to him. So like my respect level for him has gone up. Uh, but from like a marketing perspective, I think it's absolutely genius uh, because I don't have the numbers in front of me, but I mean, it went from maybe half a million subscribers when he first started it to now, I don't know, it's, it's a lot in the, in the high millions of subscribers. And if you can get just as many eyeballs watching you on your YouTube channel as you can uh, going to your multi-million dollar box office movie hit, um, I think that says something very, very big about what's sort of changing in the day-to-day -day of A-list actors. And so why that's relevant for people like us that aren't necessarily A-list actors, although, you know, someday. <laughs> but, uh, um, no, you know, you, you want to be relevant. You want to connect to your audience. So uh, whatever audience that is that you're trying to connect to, giving them an in-depth look of your day-to-day -day life uh, or whatever topic you choose to let them in on is something that's very smart and I think will drive business results as long as you're not trying too hard to sell people uh, on a business result. Absolutely. Um, actually, I was listening to Gary V because I know I always mention him on this show. But I was uh, I was in the car yesterday because I was driving up to LA um, for like I don't know probably two hours or something like that. So I was uh, I had his podcast on um, in the car, and he actually did mention that like that which that, which podcast. Sorry, which podcast do you listen to? Do you listen to Stitcher or SoundCloud or iTunes? iTunes. Okay. I just, yeah, on my, on my the podcast app gotcha. on my phone, yeah. So he actually did mention that as, and he used Will Smith, uh, Smith as the example in the sense like how he's like, well, um, you know, movie stars are not what they used to be and they're not getting as much, I guess, maybe money or whatever for their pictures anymore. So re kind of, you know, re-engaging with your audiences is so important especially with using social media and I think that totally makes sense like I just feel like celebrities are kind of missing the boat on social media <laughs> yeah so I don't think it's I don't think it's necessarily about them getting less money uh, for their multi-million dollar films I think it's about them trying to get more eyeballs on them so 
you know, if I want to, uh, let's say I'm not a Will Smith fan or don't go to any of his movies or whatever, but I recently start watching his vlog on YouTube because I don't have to pay to watch YouTube. Uh, then I end up falling in love with like, or, you know, like really like his content and stuff. And then the next time he does release a movie, maybe I will actually go and pay money to see him in the box office. But I don't think it's necessarily that they're getting paid less for the movies. I think that they're seeing people like Logan Paul or some of these YouTube uh, people that started with nothing and have hundreds and hundreds of millions of people that are watching them and the deals that they're getting out of this and the money that they're starting to generate from literally a laptop in their house or apartment uh, and building superstardom from that. And, you know, if you're already an A-list celebrity, you've already got some group of people that are interested in what you're doing and what you have to say. And then if you can then just strengthen that relationship, it's only going to do good things. But everybody has to start from somewhere. So I guess the point of my message from a marketing perspective is, is depending on your industry and what your goals are, trying to do some form of that, I think will benefit you in the long run, whether it takes two days, two months, two years, you know, whatever it is. Exactly. You know, so I, I just think that's so valuable. And especially when you see people that do make multi millions of dollars off films that don't need to do a vlog video for YouTube. I mean, they're certainly not doing it because they're desperate for money. I wouldn't think, you know, it's, it's something else. It's, it's, it's a relationship. It's you're captivating an audience and then that will pay you back in the long run. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Agreed. I, I think actually the other example I was going to use was The Rock. Um, I, I went and Googled his YouTube channel and mm -hmm. he has a YouTube channel as well. And it's very in-depth. There's a lot of interviews and Q&As and just, you know, stuff about his life and things like that. So he's, well, he's like kind of like, I feel like The Rock is really my, like a, a marketing guru <laughs> in, in his own space. Like, so he definitely uses promotion as much as he can. And he's been doing a good job at uh, promoting himself on social media as well. But yeah, I feel like celebrities have not really tapped into that as much. Like they're, they're kind of like the old school style, like Hollywood, <laughs> you know, I don't know. I think there's so much opportunity for them to be on social media and to interact with their fans uh, that they a lot of them are not maybe like the newer generation like the millennial yeah. generation but definitely not like the celebrities that we grew up with <laughs> it's a big mistake i think on their part because they think that they're so good and oh. you know and they are i'm not you know but there's going to be so many more people that are hungry and willing to put in work and like they're going to eventually surpass that you know that's just the way that it is you're seeing it same thing with tv uh, and cable and stuff like that. I mean, Netflix and YouTube and all these other platforms have come in and just really started dominating and taking away these historic things that have worked and made money for years and years and years, but because they're not willing to change with what the nice. market wants, yeah, you know, they're going to go out of business or you're going to change and adapt. Uh, I, I think that's so important. And if you are not quote unquote famous yet, you have a fair chance to become famous because there's so many of these free platforms that you can put your content on. Absolutely. Cool. Well, this is a, a, an interesting topic. Uh, if you guys have any comments or questions or anything that you've seen in uh, that maybe we didn't mention in this particular video about um, celebrities and growing your your uh, your social media channels even if you're not a yep. celebrity absolutely we'd love to hear from you so thanks so much uh anything else you want to add absolutely not i just hope everyone uh the best success send us any videos that you guys start doing based on this video or any other celebrity you think we should follow awesome thanks